Hey everybody, Aesop's here with Champion NFT Gaming. Today I got a huge land gameplay update that nobody is talking about. Hints at new Axie types, new parts, crafting, and stick till the end to hear my thoughts on why I think SLP might be saved. Alright, to get into it, first let's take a look at this image. So this image is on the front page of the Axie Infinity white paper. They just updated this a couple days ago and nobody's talking about this. The first thing I want to highlight here is in this top left corner, uh, as you guys can see here, zoom in, we have two axes that are being bred. Okay, no big deal. But if you take a closer look, you'll see that some of these body parts seem unique, like the shell on what appears to be this reptile's back, um, on the what appears to be a bird, the back and the tail seem very unique. Uh, and the other interesting question I had is, why would you breed a reptile and a bird? If you think about it, there's these special axes, special axe breeds that we have in the game. If we switch on over to this other tab I got open, right here is the secret classes in Axie Infinity. So as you guys know, we have Dusk, Mech, and Dawn, okay? And these are how you get the different uh, classes. But what we don't have is something where you're gonna breed a reptile and a bird. I think that this is hinting at the new classes that are coming into Axie. Another proof of this is recently we had the 10 millionth Axie bred. And as a prize, this item was given out. Uh, this item for land gameplay was given out to the person who bred the 10 millionth Axie. If you look at this, increases the base stats of Axie with Japanese body parts. I think this is connecting all the dots here, guys. I think there are going to be new types of Axies with new types of body parts, as this is saying right here, that are coming with land gameplay. Why else would somebody breed a reptile with a bird? It just doesn't make any sense. In addition to that, we have new body parts here, okay? So that's the first big thing that I want to talk about here is I think there are new types coming to actually with new body parts, and we might even see a little bit more of that later on here in the video. The next big thing I want to talk to you guys about is one of the images that was released. This is a savanna plot of land. What you can see here that I find is really interesting is we've got a lot of information we can actually digest. First of all, at the bottom here, we have what looks like stone, wood, we have an axe, a pickaxe, and what maybe is leather or something like that. We're clearly, as you can see by this wood log here, 99 out of 99, we're collecting wood. By the stone node, 99 out of 99, we're collecting stone. Okay, pretty straightforward. Don't know how we're going to get leather. Um, in addition to that, it seems that you can use these resources to craft, okay? Let that sink in for a second. We're going to be able to craft with land gameplay. Some of this has already been talked about a little bit, but as you can see, as we look at this big wood pile, it says 59 minutes, or maybe it's 59 hours, uh, and it has a hammer symbol on it. So that makes me think that this is currently something being built on the plot of land. I don't know what it is, uh, but there's something being built. And also, if we go back here to this updated image again this was just updated a couple days ago on the white paper if we zoom in to this similar looking image you can see that suddenly there's this thing that says axe and it's a little bit blurry so if you guys can see it uh, i have a little bit of trouble reading this it says something wood gathering if you guys can read that let me know in the comments below my eyes are not the best so let me know what that says if you guys can read that so anyways it's clear that what we can see is that it takes 10 stone and 10 wood to make a new axe so we're going to have to get resources, then make gathering tools, uh, and then be able, with those gathering tools, to use the resources for other things. So there's clearly a decent amount of depth that they already have going here with land gameplay. Um, as we're switching back over, some other things to note. This axie right here is actually going to another plot. So it says land 111, negative 10, okay? We are in Savannah plot 124 comma 12, and it looks like it has the attack symbol above it. So it seems like this Axie is going to a different plot of land to attack something. We've heard some leaks about this, but it seems like maybe your Axies will still appear as if they're on your plot of land. and It'll just say that they're leaving. I don't know, uh, but this is definitely something interesting and new for us to figure out. We can also see that there's an icon over here over this a monster that shows an attack symbol. It looks like it has three out of three attacks. So it looks like this can be attacked three times to be able to collect resources. Okay. That is definitely interesting. 
I mean, you're going to be able to go off of your plot of land to attack these creatures. And we've already heard about this, but if we look just to the right a little bit, I know I haven't heard about this at all. Maybe you guys, and again, if you've heard about this, let me know in the comments below. But there's this bug, this beetle, and it's got a day and night symbol. What this is making me think is that maybe there's going to be stronger axes at night, weaker axes during the day. It's going to actually change land gameplay based on time in your time zone, potentially. I think that would be really cool. Um, and then another big thing here that I find interesting is if we go over to that left corner again, top left corner, you got a house symbol. Pretty straightforward. I feel like that's going to take you back to your land plot. Okay. But then we have a compass and a map. That's a little weird for me. I would think, okay, we got all these plots of land. You're going to need to figure out where you're trying to go, right? But why do we have a compass and a map? That just seems doubled up it seems like we don't need both so maybe my thought and this is speculating here guys is maybe one of these like the compass is going to take us out into a bigger view uh zoom us out so we can see all the land plots and the treasure map is what i'm thinking this is is going to show us the key loot spots that we can go get something that kind of also is interesting is if we go over to the next photo that was shown is there some things that we've already seen before? Okay, we've already seen these plants right here. We've already seen the buckets of oranges, seen some of these bushes. But we haven't seen is buckets with fish in them. And I checked before making this video, and uh, if I missed it, let me know. But from what I could tell, there are no buckets with fish on the marketplace. If we zoom out a little bit more, and well, actually I'll zoom in, and we'll go up to this top left corner right here, there's what looks to be water. Um, and we've seen this actually once before in an image. Uh, if I switch tabs here real quick, we'll see that it does actually talk about this. And it's mentioned here again at the land gameplay. But when it talks about the different plots of land here, you'll see that we've given out some Genesis, Mystic, Arctic, all these. But what we haven't touched is map, water, roads, and resource nodes. This is making me think that through this water, that's up here, that's the end of the top left, you're able to actually go fishing for fish and use that as a resource. That's going to be confirmed even further in the next photo I'm going to show you guys. But there's a couple other unique things on this, uh, this image here. The other thing is these little pits right here. I'm not really sure what they're for. Maybe there's some kind of trap as well to collect a resource. Um, so there's definitely going to be a lot of new stuff with land gameplay that we haven't heard of before. If we hop on over, I gotta zoom out, there we go. Hop on over to this image of a forest land. There's a couple things. So again, we get this treasure map that I was talking about earlier that we saw on the top left uh, earlier on, but we got a treasure map right here with this actually looking at a treasure map. Maybe it's just cosmetic, but I'm thinking it's got something to do with that map we saw earlier. Next thing that I thought was interesting. Up here, we have fish clearly being cut up to be used for something. So that confirms my suspicion that we're going to do some kind of fishing with the land game plan. I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but I think that could be really awesome for us to be able to go fishing. The next thing that I'm really excited for is this looks to me like a shop. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, but to me, this looks like a shop with some kind of potions, pumpkins, maybe seashells, um, some other stuff in the shop. This is really exciting to me because this, I think, means that we'll be able to have aspects through the land gameplay that are tradable outside of just the marketplace. So I might be able to go ahead and put up that, hey, in this guy's case, he's got some apples, some flowers, some stuff to sell, potions, and he can sell them through the land gameplay. Um, it'll be its own unique world, which I think could be really awesome. Another thing that I realized is that over here, we have what looks to be food bags. And we got a plant symbol, a reptile symbol, and we can't see this, but it kind of looks like it, these might be nuts. So maybe this is for beast. And this got me thinking, how are we going to do these land gameplay expeditions? Is it going to be an energy system where you can only do so many things a day? Is there going to be something like this where there's special food, depending on the type of uh, Axie, and you can then recharge your energy. I think that would be a really awesome feature. Imagine if you could, let's say you had a plant, you know, aqua, aqua, aqua plant, AAP team. You could give some food to your, your aquas and to your plant and get a bonus 10 energy or something like that. I think that would be an awesome feature 
Uh, we'll have to see if they actually add that or not. Overall, guys, I think this is some big stuff coming out about land game plan. I'm surprised nobody's talking about it. Um, I mean, if we're going back over here, there's also some stuff on Battles V2, but unfortunately, because of how small this image is, you can't really read this. Um, there's some stuff, for example, right here, we got what looks like to be a hot butt. However, none of these axes have hot butt, so I'm wondering if maybe they're repurposing some cards. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, but a little hard to read, but there definitely is some new stuff about land gameplay, and I think this could save SLP because what if instead of energy it costs slp to do everything so you want to go get some wood five slp 10 slp whatever the number is you want to get some stone same thing some slp you want to go fight a monster some slp cost to go do that i think that could really help with our slp burning issues as well as them adding potentially as we talked about earlier new axi types to the game and new axi body parts that's going to bring back a lot of breeding there's going to be a lot more uniqueness into the game and i think that might also help with the burning ratios a little bit so anyway guys just to summarize again i think we might be seeing some teasers here for new axi types new body parts crafting uh, with the axe and whatever's going on with this wood pile and i think there's the potential for some of these things to burn slp and help save our issues so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and uh, let's hope playing gameplay comes out soon. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.